one of the most interesting things about puzzle solving is that realization that the puzzle's not done, but I know how to fix it. Getting that kind of uh, elation working on a much more complicated problem is even more rewarding. And everything we do here is applied. So we're actually interested in getting solutions that will have a real world impact. I'm really happy that right now we have a, a research team. Because you can't do science or engineering alone. Having your own team of energetic, bright students, I mean, that is, that is really cool. Right now we work on materials that are classified as ultra high temperature ceramics. So that means they have a melting temperature that is one third the surface temperature of the sun. Well, there's a lot of challenges in this area. So you have to create the right test environment. You have to understand the results. It's never been done before. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do it because I don't know the answer. If you're in it to really learn and discover and create, then this is the environment. I really wanted to push myself in my academic education. And that is why I chose the University of Arizona because I know that it has very good research colleges such as astronomy, uh, physics, uh, optics, and engineering. We want enthusiastic, ambitious graduate students. That's our, uh, that, that's really our main workforce here. Everybody can come up with great ideas, big ideas, small ideas. The inspiration came uh, many years ago from watching an episode of Star Trek. The Federation had uh, developed a new weapon that once installed on board a starship could go through solid rock. All the improvements that have been done so far in breaking rocks or especially in drilling uh, focuses around the fact that you put more energy at the tip of the drill bit. Nobody so far has looked at the other side of the equation, the dissipation of energy. So I think in that sense, the work that we do is, is quite novel and hasn't been done before. You know, what inspires me each day is coming in and working with the students. I teach classes, I enjoy teaching and meeting the students and watching them learn and grow and getting very challenging questions often from the students. So every day is a new day here and nothing's ever quite the same and that dynamic environment is exciting. When graduate students come here, they are really looking for faculty and the department to come up with some ideas looking forward. We're looking at ideas that are going to be included five or ten years out. And why not let's just try to come up with a whole new way of doing things.